Toastmasters. So last month, Linda gave a speech about who do we work for. It got me to reflect my life and how I always put my family's needs before my own. While I love my family so much and I'm willing to do anything for them, I realized that I lost myself in the process. So today I want to share my journey that taught me the importance of living for oneself, but not just for others. So 13 years ago, when I came to US as a dependent of my husband, who was a student at the time, I also applied for a statistics program from several schools. But unfortunately, I was rejected by his school, but got accepted from an, another one, which was far away from my home. Since being separated from my husband for a long period was not ideal for our family. So my husband suggested me to apply a PhD program in, in biology. Since I already have a master's degree in it and he thought it would be much easier for me. Although I really interest in studying statistics, I follow his suggestion. And as, as anticipated, I got accepted. So studying biology was a great challenge for me because I have lost interest in it and I didn't enjoy doing research anymore. I began to feel um, hopeless and even experience symptoms of depression during my fourth years of PhD study. I often ask myself what my life would have been like if I followed my heart. And I regret I didn't stand up for myself and listen to my own desire. So it took me some time to have the courage to speak up and tell my family that I want to quit my PhD and want to pursue the statistics instead. It wasn't an easy decision, but luckily I received my family support. So that's the greatest moment in my life that I felt I can be myself finally. But my journey wasn't over yet, even though I got the uh, statistics program. And after I graduated from it, I faced the challenge to find a job because we have two young kids need to take care of. So at first I thought it would be best for me to stay at home to taking care of them, but it didn't take me too long to realize that my decision was making me unhappy. I was getting anxious and depressed when my employment gap became bigger and bigger. And also getting uh, irritable, impatient and short tempered with my family. So I knew that I don't want to be, have the same feeling as I had during my uh, biology study. So I decided to send my kids to daycare and also ask help from my parents so that I can find a job. So finally, I find a job in a hospital, which was so amazing that I finally get the fulfilled and satisfied again. So this experience taught me that neglecting my own needs does not, does not just impact, uh, impact me, but also affect those around me. So although I got a job and I worked for several months and COVID there was there, and then I had to quit job again to taking care of kids. But this time I decided to prioritize my needs and desire first. So I asked my husband to take on more responsibility to taking care of the kids so that I can find a job again. With my family support, so luckily I find a remote job in an insurance company, which can allow me to balance my family and my job. So as a mothers and wives, we often think that it's our responsibility to put my family's, put the family's needs before our own. And sometimes we think that guilty and selfish when we try to focus in on ourselves. However, based on my experience, I learned that neglecting one's needs is not selfish, but in fact, it's necessary to make a healthier and happier family environment. So therefore, when I had a desire to join Toastmaster to improve my anger, to improve my competence and public speaking skills, I didn't hesitate to prioritize that. So finally, I hope that everyone can recognize the importance of recognize importance of balance of their their needs and taking care of the kids. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>